Okay, so today I'm going to go all out to see how much power I can pull down off of this system. Now I'm not going to waste power by just leaving the lights on and stuff, but I'm going to dump everything that I can put on here to try and get the most power possible. So if you have a hybrid or, or off-grid system with battery backup, then you know what I'm talking about is um, on a sunny day when you charge your batteries all the way up, if you're not grid tied, then you're just wasting power because you have no place for that power to go. In the year that I've had this system, I've never been able to use all the power available on a, on a sunny day. But today is going to be different. We're going to try and get everything out of it and see just what this thing can do. So let's get started. Okay, so at 8 a.m., this is what it looks like outside. Just a little overcast. This will clear up pretty quick. It's supposed to be a nice clear day. the pool pump pulling about 574 watts and the chlorinator not sure how much that's pulling okay so it's 9 a.m. and the Sun is starting to poke through the clouds All right, looks like we're pulling in about 30 amps at 50 volts and we've got we're at 73 percent state of charge negative 197 amp hours and we're just positive on the current pushing in 3.6 amps pulling 878 watts on L1 357 watts on L2 and we've got 3032 kilowatt hours and 2769 so next up we're gonna start the air conditioners It's just starting to get on there. Here's the other air conditioner. This is the 8000 BTU. Okay, 10 a.m. and blue skies. Okay, so we're going to switch the water heater on. You see the current jump up. Should be pulling 3500 watts on the water heater. Okay, so this is with the water heater on. We're pulling 2570 watts on L1 and 2150 on L2. That's with the base loads and the air conditioners and the pool pump. So now we're dropping 12 amps at 77% state of charge. Alright, so let's let that roll for a while. Okay, so we're going to start running the washing machine. And it's actually on the utility because I don't like the way that the agitator ramps the inverters up and down but as far as the water goes that water will have to be heated and that's going to be done by the solar so it's noon we've got 124 amps coming in at 53 and a half volts we're pulling 2680 watts on L1 2400 on L2 so yeah, about 5,000 watts we're running the base loads two air conditioners pool pump and the water heaters kicking on and off. We've done a couple of showers, run the laundry, and we're going to keep that going. We're at 86% charge, plus some 22 amps into the batteries right now. So now we're going to turn some of this stuff off and crank up the big dog. We got the dryer which pulls over 6,000 watts. Uh, I have a, my system can do about 9,000 continuous so gotta turn some of this other stuff off to run the dryer so let's go do that let's shut off the old pool pump okay so our water is fully heated so we'll turn that off and we'll turn the breaker for the dryer we'll switch that to the solar and let's go crank that up all right it's pulling a lot of power, over 6,000 watts. So you can probably hear it's working hard. We've got 129 amps at 52.7 volts coming in. And we've got the dryer running with the base loads, pulling 6,500 watts. 
So now we're dropping 10 amps, but we're 86% charged. So we're in good shape. Let's let that run for a while. Okay, so that load of laundry is done. Gonna turn off the dryer and turn the hot water heater back on. So, um, it's basically getting ahead of me now. I, I don't have really anything to run. And we've popped out of bulk mode. We're in absorb. So we're probably wasting a little power right now. Okay, so it's 145. I'm going to cut the water heater, turn on the dryer again. And this time I'm going to leave the pool pump on. So we're going to push it a little bit, see what we get. So now we've got some clouds rolling in. Okay, so the sun just went behind a cloud. And we are losing 125 amps running the pool pump and the dryer at the same time, plus all the base loads. Wow. So we're behind the cloud, and the dryer element has kicked off. Oh, just kicked back on. Loves the sun. close to four o'clock and we're still pulling a hundred and five amps at 53 volts it's a lot of power doing pretty good we're just charging the batteries up now 5 p.m. 35 amps coming in 57 volts plus and 16 amps into the batteries we're at a hundred percent plus four amp hours up Okay, so at this point, uh, just about everything is shut down. The air conditioners are off, pool pumps off, the water heater's off, no more dryer. Uh, just the base loads are running now. Computers, lights, stuff like that. So at the end of the day, we ended up uh, breaking the record. We generated more power than we ever had before at 37 and a half kilowatt hours total. That's 27 burned in the house and 10 and a half. Uh, used to charge the batteries. So is that the most the system will produce? Not, not really. Pretty close though. Um, we did get the batteries 100% charged and didn't have anything else to put on there so we wasted some power there and it was a little cloudy toward the end of the day um, but uh, 37 and a half I think we could probably get to 40. Uh, maybe we'll try again. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.